This is one of the most exciting episodes that we've created. So you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned. And if not only for that, but we're actually giving away what we're gonna be installing today. And I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video how to do that. One of the issues that we have while we travel full time is water quality, specifically drinking water quality, and then water quality going through our water lines and ending up in the RV. We reached out to three manufacturers to ask them if they would be willing to partner to make an over the top, just absolutely incredible three stage water system. And they all said yes, so you're not gonna wanna miss this video. Hey y'all, we are Sean and Christina, and this is our therapy dog, Nash. We left our home in Nashville, Tennessee to travel the U.S. in an RV and shine a bright spotlight on the incredible work that therapy dogs do across our country. Okay, here's what everything looks like on box. We've got the clear source. You can see it's the hanging version, the onboard system. So that's gonna be mounted to the wall. We've got our water filters that go in each of these canisters. And then we've got our Pro Aqua water softener with regeneration kit, which has additional filters in there. And then we've got our Acuva Aeromax 2.0, which I will get this out once we get to that phase because there are a lot of parts with that. But overall, everything looks really great. First impressions are really good. Um, everything is really, really high quality. You can just tell with the way it's made. It's just really, really nice. So I'm very excited to get this installed. And what we're gonna do is I'll run the clear source system first so that's going to be where the water's coming through i'm going to filter it and then we've got an additional filter which is going to be a little overkill but this is actually where all the table salt is going to go as well um, to run the regeneration cycles on the water softener so that'll be step two and then step three which will be the inside install with our water spigot and that's going to go in our sink area and that's going to be where we get our drinking water from so this is our current setup here. We've got the clear source, the three stage. This is not the onboard one that we are going to be installing. This is an older version, uh, but it's still the three stage. And you can see the fresh water hose just runs in. We've got our water pressure gauge right there. And then it comes in to a 90 degree elbow right here. And so that's where it goes into the fresh water and then you can see the quick connect disconnect that I have on our uh, black tank valve as well. So this is what will be coming out with the new installation that we're putting in. First things first, we are putting the clear source in and I went ahead and screwed in the top two screws here in the mounting area. Uh, just so I could get it up here because it's hard to run the camera and do that at the same time But this is the PEX option which you can see here. So I actually went and got some flex tube um, This is rated up to 200 psi and I had initially thought I was going to use just the hard shark bite PEX piping, but um, Because this is mounted on this backboard, which it is secure. It just moves a little bit so when the RV is going down the road I just, you know, I'm probably a little bit more comfortable with this flex tubing, uh, being able to move, you know, with the RV, which is why I selected that. So what we're gonna do here is we have a couple adapters um, that I'm putting in. And so what those are is a 90 degree elbow that goes in, and then it's got a garden hose three quarter inch on the end. So I'm gonna use that, which you'll see how that's gonna apply here in a minute. But this is what the final product looks like here and then I just use these clamps to tighten this down make sure we have a secure fit and I've got this hose running from the other end down here and this one's a little bit longer because we're actually going to connect this up to the water softener but let me get these last few screws done on here we'll get the canisters tightened on and then we'll be ready to move to the next phase these canisters go on pretty easy you just screw them in Got to make sure the top part is lined up. And then you just twist them. Get it nice and snug. And then there's this really nice tool. You just go up here and make sure it's completely tight. We 
need to make sure we flush the filters really good which I'm just gonna let the water run for about 15 minutes flowing through here. So what I did is I threw a quick connect on the end that the fresh water hose coming in is gonna connect to. And then I just had a little extra four foot hose laying around. So I'm gonna push it over here into the grass and just pull this out just a little bit so that that will run. So we'll just let that run here for a few minutes. And you can see up here, everything's flowing smoothly. There's no leaks. It's kind of cool because the hoses are clear but the water's clear so you still can't really see it but it's running through those three stages right now to make sure that it is nice and clean and then what we're going to do from that port is we're going to run it into this pro aqua water softener we've got an in and an outside and we've also got the regeneration kit here that we're going to use as well and we'll get into that after we get this clear source filter cleaned out here the Pro Aqua system is ready to go out of the box, which is really, really, really amazing. They give you some special adapters to use as well to do the first backwash, just to make sure that you get any of the resin out of there before you use it. So we've got to rinse this out for five minutes. We're just gonna use this adapter to put on the outside, so not with the water coming in, we're actually backwashing it. So we do that, plug our hose in to that end. And then I just have that little four foot hose again. I'm just gonna plug it in here so it doesn't drip all over the container, but you can definitely let it do that. Okay, we're ready to go. I'm gonna turn on the water. There it goes. You can see the color, it's pretty dark. So this is all the resin coming out. What we're doing is we're gonna run it for five minutes and then wait until that water clears up, which it's already clearing up pretty good, you can see. Okay, so our time's up. We're gonna go ahead and shut this off and we are ready to go plug this back in. One thing I noticed about this already, it is a lot heavier with water in it. And since we have a plastic base here, this isn't gonna be permanent. Uh, because when we are on drive days, I'll pull this out and put it in the truck because of how much stress this would put on there. But for just sitting here, sliding it back a little bit here, it's gonna be fine. So I'm just gonna screw in my quick connect fitting here into this side. Take my crescent wrench, make sure it's nice and tight. And this is just gonna come around. I may end up lengthening this hose to drop it down through here and connect the freshwater hose to it. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it out. We've got all of our connections done there. And then the last thing to do is run our little four foot hose from here to our 90 degree elbow going into the actual RV. definitely a maze of hoses right now and this is not how I'm gonna finalize this I just want to get this running get a few test showers underneath it with the soft water before we install the stage 3 of this install which is the Acuva Aeromax 2.0 so let's go inside and get this turned on hey you want to be my guinea pig for a second sure since you're in here okay so I have the water softener hooked up Okay. And I need you to give me a test. It's not going to be on the hot water because I haven't flushed that tank yet. Okay, so allowed... turn the cold yep, water. Yep, so it's just the cold water. Okay. So just give her a whirl. Okay. What and then just now? touch it. Put your hands in it. Does it feel softer? It just feels cold. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well. Maybe. I think that I'll notice because I have to wash my hair today. I think I'm going to notice more when I take a shower. Okay, well, let's. Uh, we're not going to film you in the shower, <laughs> No. <laughs> but let's get you showered up and then um, let me, I'm going to run the hot water really quick to drain that. So you'll actually have to wait about 15 minutes because the Perfect. The showering, water... any lady knows showering is oh, such yeah. an ordeal. I'm happy to wait. Yeah. So give me like 15 <laughs> minutes because the water's going to have to regenerate in the hot water heater and then you'll be ready to roll. And then we'll get your feedback after you've showered. Yes. After I wash my hair. Well y'all, the verdict is in and I'm not going to lie, I'm shocked. I just was not sure how this would compare to living in a house and I have to say the water softener system is a total game changer. I was in the shower and I was putting conditioner on my hair and I was shocked because it felt like silk and my skin is so soft and 
gosh, yeah, I'm just so grateful because this has not been our experience so far this year and I really forgot what soft water felt like. So now I feel very spoiled. But now a certain someone behind the camera needs to finish installing our Acuva water filter for our drinking water. Oh, and I think I'm most excited about that because refilling water jugs at Walmart has been so frustrating. So let's get to work. Last up in this three stage upgrade is this incredible Acuva Aramax 2.0. And this is a UV LED water system. And what this is designed to do is kill off any remaining bacteria that may have come through the filtration system prior to this. And then it kills it with UV. And it's just an incredible system that I'm really excited to try because we've heard really good things, but ultimately we're very excited to not have to keep going to Walmart to fill up our five gallon water jugs. I'd say the most excited I am is to actually taste it to see what it tastes like. And we're also gonna have another taste tester, Nash. Nash is gonna help us out with this install since we're inside. And we'll get his little Paul rating on what he thinks of the water quality as well. Well, looks like he might be going to sleep. We might be on our own for this one. I do wanna note something before we get started, which is this is not gonna be an extremely detailed step-by-step -step video. The reason is Acuva actually has an amazing one on their channel. And in fact, I've referenced that to do this install today. So I'm just not gonna include that, but you can click in the link in the description to go follow that video. I did just wanna mention, I'm gonna be using the 12 volt install method because we wanna run this when we're not hooked up to shore power, but they did include the 110 outlet adapter as well that we could use to just plug it into a standard outlet. Okay, so first things first, we've made our cut on the freshwater hose and um, this is braided PEX, so, or braided, it's technically not PEX, but um, the shark bite connector that came with the system will not work because these fittings here are not designed for those vinyl braided pieces. So I just went to Ace Hardware and I picked up a couple quick things. One is a T connection that's gonna go in each end of the uh, hose with clamps and then this is a 1 8 which is for the other hose that goes into the system which then screws in to this T connection so that's how we're going to make this fitting work. These spaces are definitely tight but you want to make sure that you get everything fitted correctly and nice and tight because of how these RVs go up and down the roads. So I've installed that other fitting here instead of the shark bite fitting, which is kind of a bummer because this one has a on off valve. One quick note here before we keep going, um, this paneling was inside back here, which our cabinet is really thin and you can see how thin this board is. And if we would screw through this, not only would it be very flimsy, um, but it would protrude through so you'd see it on the exterior of the island. So I just ran to Home Depot and bought one of these two by two squares and they have those table saws that can actually cut down these sheets. So I had a gentleman named Andy, who was super nice at the Home Depot, cut this down and I had taken this in to use as a template. So it's the exact same size. So what I did is I just mounted the mounting bracket here for the Acuva unit so that once I drill this in, I don't have to install that, it's already installed. So drilling the hole in the countertop was actually pretty easy. You just use one of these uh, three quarter inch drill bits. Just attach it to the drill. Make sure you're straight up and down and then you just drill it in. And this hole actually is for the faucet. So it will sit down in here with the cable going down through there as well, which ends up plugging in and that's how the faucet gets power. All right, we're installed. So this was about 30 minutes worth of work, roughly minus a, a small thing I had to do up to the faucet because there was plywood underneath the counter. So I had to chisel some of that away. Um, but overall it was really easy. These things just snap right in and you just cut them to the appropriate length that you need. I ended up putting this fascia back on in front of that really thick plywood that I got. So it maintains kind of the factory look. And overall this install turned out really good. And just as a reminder, we weren't able to use that shark bite connection that came with it. So I had to go to Ace and get a specific one. Um, but oddly enough, this is the same thing that an ice maker out of a refrigerator uses. So you can use the same kind of connection. All right, you want to take her on her maiden voyage? 
Yeah, I mean, this. I should do something, right? Yep, okay, so if I did this right, the blue light on the base of the smart faucet should turn on and it's telling us that it's disinfecting it. Okay, are so you ready? I'm ready. Drum roll, please. Rock and roll. <clears throat> ready? Yep. There we go. I'm assuming we have to let it run for a while, too. Yeah, so you're supposed to let it run for five minutes okay. to clear the filter out. And Makes what's sense. happening right now is that it's kind of hard to see because I've got it lit up, but you can see the, the Acuva light is actually blue. Let me kill this light so you can actually see that. There you go. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That is so nice. that's showing that it's disinfecting it, which go ahead and turn the faucet off. Okay. It's off. Turned off. So that means that it's not rolling anymore. Okay, turn it back on. So let's let it run. Do its thing for five minutes. All right, rock and roll. I get to do a second yep, thing? You got the maiden voyage okay. here. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we've let it run for five minutes. Mm -hmm. And it's still showing blue there on the bottom. Okay. Super cool. You ready? Yep, moment of truth. Cheers, How everybody. I'm nervous. What if it's bad? It's good. It's good. It's very clean. I promised Nash <laughs> that he could be the final test taster. Are you ready, buddy? Do you want to try your new water? Are you Nash? ready? So we've had the opportunity to try a few cups now. Like this is so, so good. good. I mean, it tastes ridiculously good. Like, you ready? But I would argue better than bottled water even. And now that we oh, know yeah. we don't have to fill up those silly five gallon jugs here from Walmart. Well, even better. and I think too, anybody that like tries not to use plastic or drink out of plastic, that's been a really big issue for me this year. Um, so I'm really grateful we don't have water out of plastic anymore. Okay, and as buddy. a side note, that didn't take very long to fill up. You ready? Okay, try your new water. <laughs> He's like, uh, this, this is supposed to be food, lady. Come here. Come here. Try your new water. Hey, that's supposed to be food. Try. Before we get to the giveaway, let's do a quick recap of what we installed in this Ultimate RV water upgrade system. Up first, we installed the three-stage clear source onboard with PEX fittings. And this retails for $349.99. And if you don't want to mount this to the wall, you can opt for the clear source Ultra, and that will run you $399.99. We also got a full year supply of VirusGuard Ultra replacement filters, which retail at $59.99 each. You're supposed to change these out every 90 days, which would be a total of four packs for the year, which runs a total of $239.96. Next up, we installed the Pro Aqua Travel Series 16,000 grain water softener system. This kit came with all the quick connect fittings and was ready to install right out of the box. This unit is currently on sale for $290.95, but we also got the premium regeneration kit for easier regeneration. And you can also run this as a water filter when you're using the system, but since we have the clear source onboard installed prior to the water softener, we will only be using it for the regeneration cycles, which are typically needed between 30 and 45 days worth of use. This kit is also currently on sale for $45.99. And lastly, we installed the Acuva Aeromax 2.0 UV LED water purifier for our drinking water. We opted for the smart faucet and advanced pre-filter, which we highly recommend. The UV purification process eliminates 99.9999% of bacteria and viruses and also makes the water taste really, really good. And this kit's gonna run you $5.99. It's really hard to even put into words how amazing this system is. Every single component from the clear source to the Pro Aqua water softener to the Acuva UV LED water system. It's just absolutely incredible. And we did have the clear source prior to this, which did help from a filtration standpoint, but we were still lacking soft water. And we still didn't really like drinking the water because number one, it didn't taste as good. And number two, we really like very, very clean water and call us water snobs, but that's just how we are. We enjoy putting good things into our body and water is one of those that we weren't willing to sacrifice on. There's definitely other ways to get this kind of drinking water quality. And one of those is a Berkey, but for us, I just really didn't like how that has to travel. I have to take it down, fill it up. It sits on the counter, takes up space. It's still a great product, but I just wanted something that was mounted in the sink, kind of like your house and just worked every single time. And the Acuva is 100% delivering on that. 
and we've been using this for a couple days now and it is absolutely incredible. I cannot stress that enough. And the Pro Aqua water softener is amazing. Our showers have been totally transformed and we've just been joking how we're just really loving taking showers right now. And I may have took a couple <laughs> the first day that we had it installed just to make sure it was working. And now for what everybody's been waiting for, which is the giveaway. And we are giving away this full system, brand new, shipped to your door, no charge to you, which is over a $1,500 retail value, thanks to these three incredible companies. And when we reach out to them, we said, hey, we wanna do this, we wanna make a video, we wanna show people how they can do an ultimate upgrade because it's something we've struggled with for the entire year. And those companies were like, hey, that's great, we'll definitely send you the units, but what about giving them away as well? So this was all thanks to those incredible companies, which is ClearSource, ProAqua, and Acuva, to get you a full system free of charge. So here's what you're gonna do to enter. Follow the link in the description to the Google form and guess the amount of minutes and seconds that it took to do this install. So if it was one hour, that's 60 minutes. If it was two hours, it was 120 minutes. So give me the minutes and the seconds that it took to install. And yes, I did keep track. And the closest to the amount of minutes and seconds that it took me to install this is gonna win. If somebody hits it exactly, even better. What we're gonna do is announce the winners on November 15th, 2021. So be sure, give your best guess, and we hope you win.